I've been getting a lot of comments lately about how I'm so lucky that I get to live this life. But anybody that's taking care of a large number of animals, especially in a climate like Montana, understands that most of it is really hard work. For the last couple days when I come to feed in the morning, Goose has been out of his pen. I'm not sure how he keeps escaping, but I'm gonna try and investigate that a little bit further today. Even though it's still warmer than usual here in Montana, it is pretty cold out in the morning. Huckleberry has been on high alert because there is a badger that comes out in the winter and I think he caught a whiff of him this morning. I have really been enjoying having Skeletor in the barn. He waits for me every morning to give him scratches before I feed them breakfast. Usually Tiny comes out before I get in the barn. She has been sleeping on top of the hay pile, but I couldn't find her this morning. I always end up feeding Nigel first because he gets kind of the leftover little tiny bits of hay. He's missing a bunch of teeth, so it's about the only thing he can eat besides his mash. One really nice thing about having no snow this time of year is I can still use a wheelbarrow to deliver hay. I haven't been able to figure out how Goose has been escaping overnight. They have a solar bench charger that is on. Everything is connected properly and I did test it the other day. One of them has figured out how to take the little red keeper off of the cord for the water heater. I'm pretty sure Goose is the culprit for that as well. He is a very curious horse and still very mouthy even though he's 10 years old this year. It is right above freezing right now. This time last year it was like 40 below zero so I haven't even put on my car hearts yet this season. And everything is thawing out during the day which is nice because it's warmer but these guys keep finding mud puddles to roll in after I groom them. The temporary fence that's holding Whiplash and Goose in is a three strand wire that is electric and it doesn't seem like it's down in any place. I was hoping that if I fed them breakfast, he would come back in the way he got out, but he's acting like he has no idea how he got out there. It's not a huge deal because he is still contained in a bigger pasture, but I've always been suspicious of his metabolic status and eating this frozen grass is probably not good for him. He also doesn't have water overnight if he escapes. I did order a regular electric charger to put on their fence. So whenever that comes in the mail, I'll be switching out their solar one. Huckleberry has been hot on the trail of the badger this morning. These giant holes are from him digging out the gopher burrows. Since there's usually no horses out here, I just kind of let him do it. And then in the spring, I fill in all the holes. So they are usually not a problem. Huckleberry is a typical cow dog. He usually finds the most disgusting things to snack on. I thought he was just eating grass until he decided that he would cover himself in whatever turd perfume he found this morning. I have probably 50 or 60 extra movable panels that I could bring over here for Goose and Whiplash if they keep escaping from their pen. But that would be a ton of extra work to bring him over. I would probably have to use my horse trailer. I do also have another horse sale coming up that I might get a horse to rehab through the winter. I haven't decided yet, but if I brought over my quarantine panels, then I wouldn't really have a spot for a new horse to go. I've been seeing a ton of geese right now, which is a little bit late in the season. I have a feeling that real winter is going to come soon enough. Sometimes I feel like I'm living in a bit of a simulation. I end up doing the same chores every day over and over again. This time of year, extra chores just kind of pop up on a daily basis. Any plans I make at the beginning of the day are quickly changed if I run into things that need to get done in order for the horses to stay happy and healthy. It has been getting pretty warm during the day and then below freezing at night and I have spent a handful of the last couple days observing and treating a few horses for gas colic due to the temperature change. I do think I figured out how Goose keeps escaping though. He only escapes overnight, never during Mom. the day. 
and I have a feeling that the charger is just not getting enough sunlight throughout the day to keep the fence charged all the way until morning. With all the holiday shopping going on this time of year, the charger that I ordered the other day is delayed. So it looks like I'm gonna have to be dealing with Goose's shenanigans until after the holiday. And instead of badger poop today, Huckleberry is interested in some horse poop. I don't know what it is about dogs, but they seem to think that horse poop tastes a lot better when it's frozen. When Goose first started escaping, I thought that maybe Whiplash was being really mean to him and he was trying to get away from him. Whiplash can be a little bit aggressive, but these two are still really good pals. I gave Whiplash a deep clean yesterday and overnight he somehow got disgusting again. But everybody is happy and healthy this morning and that definitely counts for something this time of year. Huckleberry acted like I was ruining his whole day by not letting him eat any horse poop. Since it is getting colder, I am going to start feeding Whiplash and Goose more hay and hopefully that will entice Goose to stay in his dry lot overnight. When I came the next morning, I saw that Goose was out again. Some of you guys may have noticed throughout my previous videos that there are random fence rails here and there and this is the reason why. Huckleberry thinks that they're just regular sticks and he'll kind of move them around, put them out in the pasture, creating just more chores for me to do every day. For some reason he really likes picking them up and dragging them to Whiplash and Goose's pen so here's he's got three in here now. I move them every time I drag which is about once a week and every week he just moves them back. Having all these animals and keeping them healthy is just an endless cycle of never-ending chores. Watch out, buddy. But every once in a while, I remember what it's like working a real 9 to 5 job and I would gladly do chores all day long while looking at my horses instead of being stuck in a cubicle in a giant city somewhere. Living in Montana, especially while trying to take care of so many horses, can be a real struggle and it's definitely not for everyone. We just got our first big snowstorm of the year pretty late. We got about six inches of snow, which creates another set of additional chores for me. But even with all the extra chores, I think you guys might be right. Even with all the sacrifices I have to make and the extra long hours I put in, I am pretty lucky to be able to live this kind of life. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for the next video.